we are to the point on this master bedroom. This is part two. So we're starting the whole interior build out and we are done with all the subs, done with all the framing. We got all the inspections. So now it's time to close this bad boy up. We got R49 for the attic. That is code. We got R19 for the walls. A big thing you want to do before actually insulating, you want to go around to all the spots where you can't fit insulation and air seal with the air seal and caulk. We got Bill working on these rafter vents and what they do is they take the air and make sure it goes from the outside vented soffit up into the attic and around to create airflow so there's no moisture. And you just want to make sure that the insulation doesn't go over and block all that off. So that gives it a little tunnel way up to the end to make sure there's enough airflow. Kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if you got it. Oh. Holy shit. So all the prep work is done and we are on to the insulation. And when sticking it up, you actually got to cut around these boxes. The best thing is to cut around, take your little piece that you pull out of there and don't throw this away. Pull the paper off, stick behind the box, <laughs> insulation behind it. Cameraman, are you okay? I hope so. So we are running down the line. The inspectors are almost here and this has to be in before he can see the insulation inspection gets done because we have to insulate around it. We are kind of in a hurry to get things done. Isn't there like a country song like that? I'm in a hurry to get things done. Away. The reveal doesn't look bad but it seems like it's getting a little hinge bound. Whoa. Gave it that knee something. That's what it needed. I know. <laughs> that little knee job. Today, the cameraman decides not to show up. Ray decides not to show up. The only ones here, me and dad. So, looks like just gonna be us hanging all this sheetrock if if they decide to show up, they might. I don't know. Hey, look, Ray decided to show up. It's now lunchtime. So this rafter, after it was up, it did twist and it, it went upwards. So there's a big crown on it and you could really see it in the sheetrock. So what we did was beat this rafter loose from the sheetrock and we're putting a sleeper across the side and that will give us the the flat ceiling some things you just got to make work right ray yes sir we we could call this the sleeper or we could call this the ray because ray slept in late and so it is sheetrock day here at carter built and the family members of carter really take pride in their sheetrock skills and there will be some heated moments today and Ray will probably get the brunt end of it. What do you say, Pop? I watch it dumb and slow. Oh, okay. Do you care about Pop's opinion? I don't really give a f about any of y'all's opinions. <laughs> <laughs> it shows. <laughs> So the, the top of this box blew out and Ray said, who did it? Ray said, I did this, but it the great, me, it was the, one -armed man. the great part about videoing the job is you can go back and see who it actually did it. And Ray, <laughs> it was definitely you. Definitely you. Let's run that clip back real quick. <laughs> All right, yeah. So 
After installing the Duroc, you want to put thin set on all the corners, seams, and the nail holes. And once that's done, you want to go back and hit this red guard on everywhere where the tile is going to be. It's like a waterproof rubber membrane, and that also helps the tile adhere and keeps it all waterproof. So now when installing this base molding, you want to take your gun and you don't want to just shoot anywhere. What you want to do is see your nail spots and that means that there's a stud behind the wall and that makes you, you want to shoot your nail through there into the stud because if not, when the caulk expands and contracts, you will have a little bit of splittage. And when you have the splittage, then it looks like a bad carpenter. So, and what do I do the first nail? I miss the stud. And that piece, when we cut that piece, we cut it from wall to wall, no miters, because the inside corners, you don't want to do a miter because then it just gives a very bad finish. The correct way to do it is cuts flat to flat. This next piece, you will cut on a 45 with your coping saw and cut around. And then when you caulk it, it looks chef's kiss. So let's go do that. So to get that perfect inside miter, you first cut it on a 45. And then once you cut it on the 45, you want to cut backwards with your saw up to here and then from this point to this point you want to cut with your coping saw and that gives you the nice insertion because if you do a 45 and a 45 and the wall is a little bit out of square you have a huge gap and we don't like that we want it to be tight i'm going to do a back bevel at 15 degrees I will cope the rest, then we'll go install it. You want to come in, ouch, we're going to go this way just to give someone something to complain about. Then you want to hit this little back bev here. How was that? How was the trim work? How was the morale? How was the video? If you're liking it, make sure to subscribe. Look at that crack. So priming is the easiest part because you don't have because you don't have to worry about really cutting anything in, painting any colors, you just roll it, just primes the walls. That's that's why I like this part the best. So when setting tiles, you always want to butter the back side of the tile. If not, it just doesn't stick well. Whew. We did go ahead and stand the tiles up vertical, other than doing horizontal because the way that the pattern works out, the next tile we will continue and it will wrap around, still giving the full normal standard width, and then from there it will just be a full tile. So they're all getting stacked on top of each other. Nice little modern look, and they are they're some big boys.
We are two days out from finishing this job, the 40 day window, and uh, there's still a lot to do, but today is gonna be super busy. So we're finishing up this shower, got some flooring to do, got to install the vanity, do a little bit of punch out work, and I think we'll be right on track. So as long as today rolls well, we'll, we'll hit that 40 day window. Yeah, I think we should have just carried it. It's still can. So after this busy day today, you can see the electric's done, HVAC is getting installed. We did go around, do some point up so you can see point up everywhere, stuff that had to get done. And then coming in here, she's looking pretty, pretty decent. This last day, one more day, we're going to do all the plumbing trim out and uh, paint. We'll be right on track. Now that you can see the final product, you can tell that the bathroom vanity fit in here perfect with the toilet. We did make as much possible out of this one room that we had. So here's the shower, the vanity, final product. We'll clip in the before with the tape. And now you can see it come to life with this hallway. It just looks like it was designed this way. Oh wait, because it was. Make sure to stick around, follow, subscribe. We got more content coming out. Stay hard, let's go.